Big Jack, Big Jack. Oh, taken. G'day guys, welcome back to another day in isolation. It's a beautiful day outside and I'm just sitting at home doing nothing. What I thought I'd do because it's obviously all this stuff going on, businesses are getting hit hard, everyone's getting hit hard, people are losing their jobs, people are losing money and I'm going to do a bit of shameless plugging here to say a big thank you to uh, the companies that I work with and that look after me and that have supported me and have supported me for the last few years. So basically it's a gear run through that I'm going to do but I'm going to go into detail and do a video on each thing like my rods, one for my reels, one for my line, one for my hooks, one for my lures, all that kind of stuff. We'll flash back to fishing as we go through but um, this is just a good way for me to say thank you to those guys for um, their continued support, especially through this stuff, because everyone's struggling, str struggling at the moment. It doesn't matter how big your business is. First thing I'm going to do, first video I'm going to do, I'm going to talk to you about why I use the line that I use, and that line is Taz line. I've been using it for probably only three years now, and before I was using it, I was going through a lot of different lines, WFT, Varavas, and I kept having the same issue. The the line would fluff up from my casting finger and it did my head in because to me that was just a weak point and I'd be constantly fishing for an hour then I'd have to retie because that fluff on my braid would do my head in. I started using Taz line and it doesn't happen anymore. Obviously all braid abrasion resistance of all braids is pretty low in comparison to mono. If your braid touches a rock you're pretty much done. This way? Yeah. You got the shot up. That fish, I didn't really feel it, but I think it was at one stage here. It must have been like a weird, soft-ish bomby down there. But what I want to show you is why I've used and chosen to use Tazline these days is exactly because of this reason. This line, that's my main line, the braid. Can you see the fluff? Severely touched up in a bomby and it's held and I had heavy, heavy pressure on that fish and even further down the spool there's more, look, look at that, that's not as bad, it's still bad, look at that, but yeah, that's why I like Tazlon, it's really good for rubbing, not that any braid's really good for rubbing but as far as braids go, that one seems to be pretty good. With this stuff, I've noticed it is a bit stronger than other braids, and just like I said, the finger, casting finger is the perfect example. I don't get any fluff at all from casting, and I wear a glove as well. So that's why I kind of stuck with it. Since then, Frank, who was importing Tazline from New Zealand because Tazline was originally made in New Zealand, Frank has taken the whole business, moved the uh, manufacturing and making the line itself into Australia, um, and he's teamed up with another guy, Marty, and they're doing it all. So it's pretty cool that they've done that. Um, they've, they did that so they can up the amount of line that they make. They can control the quality and they can make it all really, really good. First of all, I want to say a big thank you to those guys. I never contacted Frank asking for a sponsorship. I was just using line. Frank started sending me line for free, which is amazing. And then um, just recently he said, look, man, I get a bunch of messages from people saying they want to try Tazline because they've seen it on my videos, so he offered to start giving me some money as well, which is bloody amazing. That kind of stuff is really, really cool, and it just personally, for me, it makes it like um, all the hard work that I do, even though it's fishing, I know, don't get me wrong, but it makes it all worthwhile when you get that recognition from someone, especially like Frank, who's been in the fishing industry for a bloody long time. So you want to get yourself some Tazline, in my opinion, it's the best line you can get, here's what you do. You go on your computer, never mind the recently viewed, there's no porn hub there. Tazline.com.au Who's that? Eh? Alright, so you get on there, you can go, here we go, where are we going to go? We can go shop now, we can go technical, 
You've got technical, tells you all about how it's made. And then see this here, this is quite good. Click here for online spreadsheet, click that. This is a spreadsheet for just about every reel you could imagine. And it has line capacities for each um, poundage of line. So, so for instance, you've got a Saltega Expedition 5500. You want to put 50 pound line on it. What do we got? 500 meters, bang, done, perfect. That means no wastage. And I'm not sure if Frank's still doing it, but they were doing custom spools as well. So I'll have to check with Frankie on that one. But yeah, that's a really good way to do it because you're um, obviously you eliminate any wastage at all. So that's that's the website. Get on there, tasline.com.au. Shop now, mate. You've got all your different braking strains, P ratings, diameters. Um, so the P10. Actual braking strains, 138.4 pounds, eight strand line. Most of them are eight, eight strand apart from the 15 pound and I think the eight pound might be six strand, but the rest are all eight. Um, there's also the hollow as well if you want to back your bigger reels. But um, yeah, Frank still has the busted fishing website as well. So you can go on there and get your, um, the bees knees line spooler and the electric line winder, which I'll show you now because Frank actually sent me one of them and I fully cooked it, didn't read the instructions and actually put my line on backwards, so we'll watch that now. All righty, here we go, we're fully assembled. I think we've done it semi properly. Beach is cleaning the bench and camera ready there. We're good to go. Here we go. Oh my God. <laughs> go the I think that's going all right so far, man. Is that tight? Yeah, it's good. So I actually good. like it. It's actually really good, eh? Hey, hey, look at that! Hey. So we're probably about a quarter of the way in thus far. Super easy, dogs into it. And um, yeah, we're gonna keep going. We're gonna up the ante with the speed here. We're gonna see how we go. All right, Beachy. Beachy. crap on about getting from Tazline the custom spools and this is exactly why 500 meters custom spool of PE8 perfection mate no wastage down to the meter you beauty we're all done that was pretty easy sick little device man 
Alrighty, that's it. We obviously thought we were ripping there and we put the line on the wrong way. I got to Saudi Arabia and had to let 500 meters of PA out the back of the boat and wind it back on the right way. So that's totally my fault, not the device's fault. So that's just a learning thing. If you if you get one of those line winders, do it the opposite way to what I did. That's it. That's just a little insight into the Taz line thing um, for me. It's the line I, I want to use. I can't see myself using any other line in the future. If you're in Australia, obviously, supporting guys like Frank and Marty, really good, small business. And in this time, if you're looking to buy a line, look no further, hit these guys up because they're just um, getting on their feet. And this coronavirus stuff is obviously going to be a bit of a setback. Um, they also ship line worldwide so if you're watching from anywhere else in the world you can still get it jump on board tazline.com.au and help them out while we're there i'm thinking about actually starting to sell it on my johnnybrooksfishing.com website as well but we'll see how we go one more thing before anyone goes oh you've overspooled that reel you idiot rah, 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 rah. that reel is for jigging only no casting so i intentionally put as much line as i could get on there there's no worry about wind knots when you're jigging because you're not actually casting so before anyone goes and whinges and says that you've overspooled it you're a retard that's the reason why leave a comment down below what you want to see next in regards to this kind of gear in detail film whether it's rods reels lures hooks uh sunglasses whatever um leave a comment and let me know what you want to see next we'll work through them all eventually but it's pretty interesting to see what you guys are interested in and what gear interests you the most so let us know down below i'll put the link to the tasline website in the description i'll also put the link to frank's website at busted fishing so you can check out the line winders and stuff like that as well so if you're spooling big reels like that dog fight it's a lot easier than winding the whole the whole spool line on so get on it check it out thanks for watching and we'll see you soon cheers